because frankly, uh, we don't want people making these decisions on subjective terms like unreasonable risk of harm. Uh, you know, what one person views as unreasonable, another doesn't. So uh, we're, you know, and, and uh, moving forward, I think one of our biggest, biggest initiatives, along with all of them, is to really be investigating our removal, our application of removal. And uh, it's, 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 we have, the, everybody says, well, they don't have tools, they're, they're just blindly removing based on, that's not true. What is true is we have tools, um, there is criteria, um, and <coughs> there is fear involved. Um, and do they meet the legal criteria to remove a child and take it into court and be upheld what they did? Yeah, but were there potential ways to avoid that through other explorations? Yeah. Were there subjective factors that somebody really couldn't measure? Yeah. So uh, I am really very committed to uh, looking at how we remove and really trying to tie what is a constitutional Fourth Amendment seizure um, uh, to the way that we're applying our removal of children. Um, and, and most importantly, the severity and the time. Um, something as simple as if a caseworker can go out to their car and make some phone calls to their boss and run the story by them and call for a car seat to be delivered by a co-worker to then go back in and serve a temporary custody notice on a person. To, there probably wasn't true exigency there. In other words, if not acting immediately, someone's going to suffer serious physical injury or worse. So I think that that application really has to be looked at. I think we really need to be very careful how we look at it and if there's going to be changes in practice that we don't send the message to our staff that the pendulum swings the other way and they go, hey, we don't take children, you know, we may be really very, very careful um, because we know, I mean, these children are in dangerous settings, but we also know we have to, uh, we have to act with, a, with exigency in mind. Um, and and uh, so we're doing a lot of research on that and we're looking to change uh, that landscape a little bit moving into the future, but that's not anything statutorily uh, that we have. To do. It's just well, are we talking about suggestions 